Hi everyone, welcome to Evie's Toy House. Today we'll make a brand new My Little Pony custom using Spike. We're going to be making Smolder, a female dragon student at Twilight Sparkle School of Friendship and one of the Young Six. Do you know the names of everyone in the Young Six? If you do, let me know down below in the comments section. Even though both Smolder and Spike are dragons, they look quite different. Smolder's spine shape on the top of the head is different from Spike. She has longer horns near the ears, and she doesn't have the spines going down her back, and her tail is also longer. Alright, let's get started! The first thing we need to do is to trim the parts of Spike that we no longer need. So that means the bit of spine here along the back. We're going to shape them off using an X-Acto knife. Be careful when you're doing this. Always point the blade downwards and away from another part of your body, like fingers and hands. Over here, we're also going to trim the spine on top of the head. Smolder has a large piece curving back, and the rest of the section is flat. We're also going to take off the tip right here. So far so good. Now we're going to take some acetone and take off the eyes. This part is optional, you can also just paint over them. Now using air dried clay, we're going to modify the spine along the head. The back section needs to be flat and a large piece in the front curves backwards. Here is the final result. This is looking less like Spike and more like Smolder now. Next, taking tapered logs, we're going to add horns, one on each side and smooth it down so that it is seamless. In the back, I want to extend the tail. So we're going to take a longer log and attach it to Spike's tail. Then we'll shorten and smooth it out until we get the length that we want. Taking a flat piece of clay, we'll cut out a teardrop. This will be part of the fins on the tip of her tail. This tail is looking so cute. Next, taking two pieces of flat clay and stacking them, we'll cut out small dragon wings. We'll attach it to the back after it has completely dried. And here is Smolder so far. So we got these two horns on the side, we even got a pair of wings, and we've extended the tail. Let's go ahead and paint the entire figure white. This covers up spikes purple and green, so we won't need as many coats of paint. As you can see, most of the purple and green is gone, and now we're ready to put on the final colors. We're going to start with yellow. Here, we will paint the horns, her belly, and undertail. Also the section under her chin, and her wings. Next, with orange, we'll paint the rest of her body. This will include the head, the body, the wings, and also the tail. So, do you remember the names of the young six? They are Gallus, Ocellus, Sandbar, Silverstream, Smolder, and Yona. Did you get them right? If you did, comment below, I win!
Once the body is painted, we can move on to the spine. For the spine, we're going to paint it a fuchsia color. I think this is such a pretty color. It totally stands out from yellow and orange on the body. Of course, we can't forget the tailpiece too. Let's quickly paint the tongue pink and then we can move on to the eyes. I've penciled in the eyes to make sure they're even. So now we can fill in the eyes with white. Next, using black will line the eyes. Now with teal, we'll add in the irises for each eye. And then add black diamond shaped pupils. Add two white reflective dots. And finally, using burnt orange, we'll add eyebrows. Alright everyone, so here is Mulder. What do you think? I think she turned out even better than I thought she would. So, we've completely changed up Spike. We've modified the spines here, took up the other spines along the back, and extended the tail over here. On the side, you can see that we added horns, so we have two longer horns on the side of the head, and also little dragging wings. Here is a close-up look of the face. As you can see, we've completely changed the shape of the eyes and also made it blue. I really like the way my custom turned out, but what do you think? Let me know down below in the comment section. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!